In this video, I will provide you with the plumbing, that is the gas, the waste, water supply, and even the dryer vent for our 850 square foot house. We have our kitchen sink vent coming out of the roof sheathing here. Go ahead and remove the sheathing. Fascia board here, the roof trusses, water going down for the sink. And of course here we have a three quarter inch line. I actually ran a three quarter inch line all the way from one end of the house to the other. And you don't have to do this. A lot of plumbers um, use a half inch line for something like this. And it's not that big of a deal. But if you're gonna have, if you're on a large property and you think you're gonna have a lot of sprinklers or something like that, you might wanna run a larger line. So that's basically what I did here and I don't have the hose bib on here but you'd put a hose bib on this side here and of course our cold water is going to the sink and so we have a three quarter inch line we would have a half inch line going to the sink and then a half inch line here for the hot water and I went ahead and drew some layouts and this is just kind of um, the cabinet let's say and the center of the sink drain so maybe the sink and the drains to give you an idea how the um, drain here would connect. You know, you're going to have a garbage disposal on one side and then a sink over here where it's just going to drain into the um, trap um, that you have here uh, or whatever you're going to have. You're going to hook that up. And I'm not showing you how to hook all that stuff up here. I'm just kind of going over the rough plumbing. You're going to have um, water shutoff valves at the ends of these also. And uh, we have an inch and a half line going into a um, two inch line. And I, I like doing this um, for the sink. Let me just kind of go. This is a two inch line. Um, and uh, it's go the two inch line is going into a three inch line. You'll see that here. In, in a little bit when I break the, uh, when I just show each of these individually. But I like to have, I don't like to run an inch and a half into an inch, inch and a half in a situation like this. You're, it's not gonna cost you that much more money to go with a two inch, but totally do what you want, knock yourself out. An inch and a half will be fine all the way across, but I do vent up with an inch and a half um, out of this. So this would be a combo um, sanitary tea here. And if you have any questions about what I did um, or any ideas how to make this better, feel free to leave them in the comment area, as always. Our stove here and just kind of the layout here in our cabinets. You can always go back and check the reference for the original um, video. Our, our, I think our introductory video has the floor plan in it and give you an idea of where some of these things are going to be located. And all we have here is going to be a gas pipe going to the stove. You might need an electrical line if you're going to run 220. You might not run a gas line. And some houses, of course, have both. They have a gas line and a um, electric line for, um, for 220, 220 volt for an electric stove. Here is the trap for the um, wash machine, the hot and cold water for the wash machine, the gas for the dryer, and a dryer vent. I actually put a dryer vent in here to um, give you an idea how you would run something like that in a situation where you don't have a dryer and the wash machine where it's not d located directly um, behind an exterior wall. And of course the wash machine trap uh, has a clean out here. Go into the bathroom. I did the same thing kind of with the sink. I just drew um, the center of the cabinet. This is the outline of the cabinet and put a drain in the center here for our um, for the arm, for the plumbing arm here. And uh, the hot and cold water. Hot is on the left, cold is on the right, that's standard. Um, then we have the toilet flange here, and then the water supply pipe for the toilet. Bathtub drain, and um, the vent for the bathtub. And this would be the cold water supply for the toilet. And I'm not going to provide you with all these measurements and stuff for that. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of how you could do something like this. 
come through the studs here, inch and a half pipe. We have a two inch vent. This is the vent for the toilet, so it's got to be two inches. Um, and then we have a three inch clean out here. I like to have that um, clean outs wherever you can put them. It makes your job easier. Um, if you if there ever is a backup in the um, house anywhere. So this is inch and a half again, two inches going up, three inches going down. View of the clean outs in the in the closet. So remember this is one of the bedroom closets. And I want to kind of show you here how the clean outs can be sticking out of the walls. This really isn't going to be that big of a deal. But if the clean outs are going to be sticking out a little too far, you can always fur the wall out. You know, it, let's just say that you were an inch here um, and you have half inch drywall. You know, you might want to add a piece of 3 8 plywood and strip out the walls to fur the wall out so that the um, clean outs or the, the front of the clean outs won't be sticking out too far. And here we have the water coming into the house. This will be cold water. You're usually going to have a hose bib here and a water um, shutoff valve to the house. So the water supply here is going to go to your um, municipal system, whatever that is. If you have a, a well, whatever it is, this is usually the inlet um, of the water supply. Um, and uh, so from here on, I'm not going to draw how we hook up to the um, we're not hooking up to the municipal sewer or the water supply system here. This is where the front of it, this is where it starts, the uh, cold water coming in. Unless you're where I'm at in Southern California and it's the summertime right now. It's August 18th and it is, we got nice uh, warm water coming into our house. So the water heater doesn't have to work as hard. So here is the bathtub and the shower valve. So we have the valves here. This would be for the tub. This would be for the shower. And I kind of wanted to give you an idea. I know I'm not going into a lot of plumbing details here, but what I have here is a 90 degree and then another 90 degree copper fitting. And um, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea. You can twist and uh, you know manipulate these things to get into a variety of different situations. And that's actually what I did here. I just kind of came down um, because uh, the valve, the line here is centered basically in the wall framing studs. But this one here, it's out. It's almost even with the framing stud. So if I was going to have it um, go down the center of the wall framing stud, I could do that. But I have a pipe here that's in the way. So I, I couldn't do it on this particular thing. And I just wanted to throw that out there. You can do a lot of different things with uh, um, these pipes. You know, when you're trying to figure out just how in the heck am I going to get to that? Not maybe I'll make another video on that um, later. That sounds like a good video. So our hot and cold water. Here's our hot water, and I only have a half inch line. I'll kind of go through my design here. This is a half inch water supply. Um, pipe for the for the hot water. I just have hot water for the sink and for the bathtub and the shower. I don't need it for the toilet. This is cold water. We have a three quarter inch line going all the way across here, and uh, and then half inch going down, and then I have a half inch pipe underneath here. Kind of just zoom through there. And one to point out too: make sure you don't stick this stuff up too high. You know, I have this pipe right here. Um, down. It's right above the wall framing um, plate. Um, if I was to come up a little higher, um, it might, might be sticking out of your roof. So make sure you're aware of that when you're installing your plumbing. So if this one here was a little higher, it could be sticking out into the roof sheathing. And that's usually not going to be a problem. The plumber isn't putting the pipes in before it's uh, the roof is sheathed most of the time. So um, probably not a big concern. Just thought I would mention it three-quarter inch line coming up and around here half inch for the hot water see if I come down here you can see the line here coming up this is for the sink coming up and tying into the three-quarter inch line here a view of it wanted to point out that I have a have an attic access and I actually have a gas line in here for the um, for the forced air unit or your heating and air conditioning unit, it's going to go in the attic for something like this. 
It doesn't have to. You can move the washer and dryer over and put it here also or put it in this area and then relocate the water heater, the tankless water heater. So wanted to point out that I could have ran this line straight through and then um, came over here and tied that in if it wasn't for this. So with that said, you could always move the um, access into the attic. You could move that over if it's going to be more convenient for you for your plumbing to work out a little easier. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the um, water heater. Hot and cold water kind of marked it. So the hot water is coming up. I got a three quarter inch line coming up to and then half inch lines coming out of it. For the cold water, this is where the cold water is coming into the hot water heater. It's going to go in here and then come out hot. And then the cold water, if you remember, is coming from the front of the house. And uh, we're now working our way to the back of the house. This three quarter inch line is the one that's going to go all the way to the back where the hose bib was. And our gas line for the forced air unit. Plumbing vent. Again, kind of our hot water coming down here, cold water. I got a half inch line coming off of this. So this would just be a T, a combo T with uh, three quarter inches on this side, three quarter inches on that side, and a half inch here. And then our gas line for the dryer. And then our dryer vent. So the dryer vent's coming up here and then out to the side. Just kind of want to throw something out here. I was going to run the dryer vent out to the back of the house. But if I pan back here, you can kind of see where this is the perfect spot. If I came out over here, if I just came out over here, I could be over the um, kitchen window. I could be near the sliding glass door here. Um, I could always center it over here. Wouldn't be a big deal. But if I come up here, it's 190 straight out. There's no windows over here. This is an awesome spot for the dryer vent to dump all of its lint out to. Um, so when you're designing something, you're thinking about uh, how, how things are going to work out. Try to look at a few different things. Just don't get stuck on one thing um, and go from there. And I wanted to show you here where the copper lines, and you're not going to have this with PEX, you know, or with the plastic tubing water pipes but with a copper you're going to have to have one higher than the other when it crosses over so you're going to have to keep that in mind when you're um, building or designing your um, all of your plumbing this is, includes the gas pipes the um, water supply pipes and any drainage pipes that might run at an angle or even this pipe right here the um, vent pipe for the water heater coming out you're going to have to um, get around it you don't want to go through it you know and that's not going to not going to work another view of it there how we're coming in cold water hot water dryer vent take a look at the gas line we're running the gas line all the way through here coming in here and then out to where the gas meter would be now let's go ahead and strip all the framing away and give you a better idea of the pipes here. We can see the drain pipes, everything. I'm just going to kind of remove some of this stuff, take a look at our gas line, and I'll kind of give you an idea what what I might have ran. And I'm not providing you with pipe sizing, just kind of giving you an idea of what might work for those of you who aren't going to um, hire anybody to calc everything out. And you might want to go with with a larger. If I if I'm using a three quarter inch pipe all the way to here, um, and then this is half inch going to the stove, three quarters of an inch going all the way over to here. Um, this is a half inch coming off for the water heater. Here we have it for the dryer, and then here we have it for the um, forced air unit in the attic. And again, I'm just throwing stuff out there. I'm not uh, providing you. You could, um, your, your project might require different size piping and even a different layout altogether. A dryer vent here. Nice to have something like this at a 90. I don't like running dryer vents up if I don't have to um, because lint gets caught up in, in here. So um, plan on that. Make sure that this comes apart so that you can run something down 
to clean it out or have something to um, keep these vents clean if you do build a house like this. Go ahead and take a look at the drainage. Remove the rest of the stuff there. The clean out in the front of the house are shower, toilet, sink, um, laundry, and then the kitchen sink clean out. So if you kind of remember, I said this was a two inch, not a big deal. You know, you got a two inch pipe here. It's not very big. Not, I'm not suggesting you're going to have ever have a problem if you don't. I just like doing this. Just something I like, like to do. Three inch clean out coming up here. And of course, if you notice, I don't have a clean out on this. That's because you can usually pop the kitchen trap off and then run something through. This isn't very far here, or you could come down in the vent. Not suggesting that you're a building department. They might want to clean out there. They might want to clean out on everything. Here is the wash machine drain. You can see it into the trap, draining into here, and then a clean out there. This also might not need a clean out. You can just come right down into here to um, get rid of anything. Gets trapped in there. And I have three inch pipes here. You can always go to four inch pipes if you want to. I have four inch pipes in the house that I live in. It was built in 1959, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I've had some problems with it. And that's only because uh, of the um, coming apart cast iron. But uh, now they got four inch PV or ABS pipes and I'm probably never going to have a problem with them. It's just too much for this house. Um, that's uh, the house I live in is about 1,200 square feet. Not, uh, you know, not going to be too big of a deal. So I just threw out the four inch. Doesn't mean you got to um, use those either. Three inches for something like this is going to work just fine. Toilet coming down, clean out. Remember this was in the closet, and then the sink arm, and then the bathtub, and the shower drain here. And of course, another clean out for that. So something like this might not be necessary. You can always go down from the vent in the roof. Wanted to throw the concrete in here to give you an idea where we were. Sometimes it's uh, like I said, this stuff's like I'm doing stuff with this computer modeling stuff. You can't do when you're showing someone new construction on a finished product here. Go ahead and throw the water in the shower bathtub shower valve toilet supply, sink, bath, bathtubs, bathroom sink, um, washer and dryer, and of course the kitchen sink here. Take that away. And we are almost done with this particular video. And uh, I think this is probably going to end it for this project, by the way. So water supply coming in, going all the way to the back of the house. Shower, I mean the bathtub and shower assembly, toilet, water heater, um, the wash machine. We're coming around. A couple of more views here. We're done. This is the last one coming into the kitchen sink and, of course, the back of the house. Anyway, that is it for the video. I hope it helped. I made this one long and didn't break it up into a couple of parts um, because I wanted just to have it all in one video. And that is it for our 850 square foot house. Hope it helped. If you liked it, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. Any comments or questions, leave them in the comment area. And uh, if you're a plumber, you're somebody that knows something about plumbing and I made a mistake in here, let me know. Let us all know. I'm, uh, you know, I don't get to learn stuff very often and I'm all, always interested. Now, if you are going to make a comment and suggest that I did something wrong, um, your comment is going to be removed if you don't provide me with some type of validation. I can't tell you how many comments I remove a week because someone comes in and says, uh, oh, that's wrong. You don't. And then I'll ask them, hey, do you have any anything to support your um, statement? Why it is wrong, actually. So if you have something that's, that I made a mistake somewhere, make sure that you actually provide me with satisfactory evidence to support your claim.